Hey teachers, if you haven't heard about it, there's this awesome AI tool called CuriPod. CuriPod can help you create interactive and engaging presentations, and it can provide individualized feedback to each of your students, making sure they got the content down. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step on how to use this tool. Let's start by signing in or signing up with a free account. First, you're going to land on this interface. You could choose to create individualized activities or generate an entire slide deck that already includes a mix of these various activities. I'm going to start by generating slides from scratch. Let's say I'm an English teacher for 7th graders. I want to create a presentation that covers dependent and independent classes. You could specify your grade level and add any learning objectives and standards in the box below. Then you're going to click the green do magic button and in a matter of seconds, you'll have the slide deck generated for you. And just like that, we have 15 interactive slides that have been prepared, but you can always add more and change it up. I'm going to show you what we have so far. The first slide is a word cloud, which might be a great warm up activity. Then we have content slides to teach the topic. There are some open ended questions for students to engage with, as well as some interactive polls. I'll show you just how these features work at the end, so make sure to stay along. And keep in mind, you can always edit these slides and change the text. So these are the end of the slides that have been provided, but I'm going to add one more slide at the end and one at the beginning, just to show you how some of these features work. You can add more activities or content slides, but I'm going to create an exit ticket. And to do this, I'm going to use this AI feedback feature. This is great to use because it provides instant and personalized feedback to each of your students. It can be difficult for a single teacher to make sure the entire class is understanding everything, especially because each student may learn differently. This feature helps to provide the individualized feedback to students to make sure they understand why they got a question right or wrong, what are some things they need to look out for, it provides further clarification, and really helps students feel confident about their learning. I'm going to go ahead and type up my exit ticket question, then I'm going to jazz up the slide with the jiffy, and then we're going to add that personalized feature. So on the activity tab, I'm going to scroll down. You could choose writing or comprehension for the feedback focus, and then below it, you'll type in your answer expectation, which the feedback will be centered around. Once I present the slides at the end, you'll see exactly how this feature works. Now I'm going to scroll to the front and add one more slide at the beginning. This time, I'm going to show you how you could generate a slide with AI. They have a ton of options to choose from. I'm going to go all the way down, and let's choose the social and emotionally learning checking poll. I think this might be a good way to start off the class to get a gauge on how everyone's doing. Let's move it to the front, and you can always regenerate it if you don't like the slide. Alrighty, now we're ready. I'm going to click present, and I'll show you how this looks like from the student's perspective as well. As you can see on the right corner, each student is going to go to curie.live under devices and type in the pin number at the top of the screen. Then they're going to type in their name. Now this tool allows them to stay anonymous, but the teacher will be able to know their real name. Once your students are in, you can adjust the time limit for this question and then press the green play button. It kind of works like a hoop. There's even music in the background to this. And at the end, you'll see all the students' responses at the front of the screen. Now let's move on to the next slide. So this is a word clause slide. The question is, what are clauses? And students can type in short words or phrases to add to the word cloud. Now, don't come at me for my answers. I'm not an English teacher by any means, but hopefully once the students all put in their words, it'll populate into a beautiful word cloud, and it's a great starting off point to look at different phrases and words that students are thinking of. The next slides are content-based slides, so these are the slides that you can teach off from, and feel free to add a bit more examples to these as well. The next ones are open-ended questions, and these are the ones where students can type in longer responses. These slides are great to promote deeper thinking and foster class discussion. It also allows students to remain anonymous so they don't need to worry about getting wrong answers. You can also click on the responses to make it bigger. These are some more open-ended questions, and you can even do a drawing activity on this as well. Next, we have some more interactive polls. And finally, I'm excited to show you how this AI feedback feature works. For this question, each student is going to respond individually, and whether they get it right or wrong, they'll still get thorough feedback. But in this case, I'm just going to show you an example of an incorrect answer so you see what the feedback looks like. Once you get all the responses, you can press that green Give Feedback button, and each student will get that instant feedback. I noticed that a lot of them are structured in the sandwich method, so it starts with a great job on this, but make sure you work on this, um, maybe keep a lookout for this, 
and then it ends off with the great work, you got this. Each feedback is going to be specific to each student as well as their responses. Since this was the last slide, I'm going to press the end lesson button and it's going to give me a report on all of the students and their responses throughout the presentation. I can also look through each activity to see the responses and read the feedback that was provided by the AI feedback tool. Teachers have the ability to see their real names and you can also export it as a CSV file for future reference. So I just showed you a walkthrough of how you could create slides completely from scratch, but say you already have a presentation and you just want to add these CuriPod interactive features. You could do just that by curifying your slides. So these are some slides about the water cycle that I already had. And once I add it to a platform, it's already going to insert some interactive elements as well, but I can choose to add some of my own. For instance, I'm just going to add a drawing activity to get the students excited. Now, before you go, I wanted to show you one more bonus feature. If you go back to home and in discover, you'll see a collection of slides that have already been made by teachers, professionals, and creators. You can find one that you like, find one on your topic you're about to teach, copy it and edit it based on your needs, and you could do it all in a matter of seconds. So that's the end of this CuriPod tutorial. If you found this helpful, feel free to give this video a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, check out our free weekly newsletter for more AI tools like these. See you in the next video!